to make him part of our family. And she said, I'll sleep better tonight than I've slept in a long time. Jake bonding with his teacher's children and with her husband, Dave. And it was just last week, while Jake was at school, his mother, Jean, passed away peacefully at home. My mom went to heaven. She loved me so much. She did love she me did. so much. Do you love her so much? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Tonight, the Bremer family is now Jake's family, and all of them carry his mother, Jean, with them. We shared our boy, and she will live on here in this house. Jake's new family and his mother forever remembered. Good night. Catch Island Sports with Brandi Higa, weeknights on KITV4. Should not even happen, eh? On KITV4 Island News Tonight, family and friends today react to a deadly shooting in Makaha last night. Just hoping that guy come forward. For the first time in Hawaii. Lana and I searched everywhere to see if there would be anywhere else that I could have picked it up. A lawsuit filed against Johnson & Johnson. Can baby powder cause lung cancer? But I think that's it. A soldier from the Big Island killed in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan. There's a new in the race to be Honolulu's next prosecutor. He's a former judge and former U.S. attorney. And during her concert at the Blaisdell last night, Janet Jackson recognized the tension over TMT on Mauna Kea. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. We begin with breaking news tonight. A 100-acre fast-moving fire on Maui is prompting evacuations. These are new images just into the newsroom. So far, at least a dozen homes in the Kahikinui subdivision have been evacuated and shelters are being set up. Pi'ilani Highway was closed earlier but has since reopened. The fire was first reported around 2 o'clock this afternoon near the highway. Mayor Michael Victorino is urging all residents to stay vigilant and away from the area. And that fire is being fanned by strong winds on Maui. Good evening, I'm Mika Miyashima. And I'm Tom George. And for Brenton and Watts tonight, we want to go straight over to KITV4 meteorologist Pete Caggiano with our first forecast. How's it looking out there on Maui with the winds? Yeah, strong winds, and it looks like they're going to get even stronger as we head into our, our Friday. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Those winds really picked up today. You probably felt it. We're looking at east-northeast winds, and, and those winds at times can downslope or accelerate over terrain, making for even stronger Gust. So strong high pressure that is uh, building in is going to allow for a wind advisory to be in effect starting tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So we're expecting even stronger winds, potentially 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. Wind advisory in effect. Gust though, downslope of terrain. So we're talking on the west side or the leeward side of mountains. That's where we could see gusts potentially over 50 miles per hour. So that's going to unfortunately uh, cause some trouble for fire firefighters out there. We're also tracking some big surf. We want to take you outside today earlier at Pipeline. Huge waves that rolled in. And this is a look at those waves as they roll in a live look right now. You can see large waves. We even saw larger waves earlier today, large enough to spark a high surf advisory that's in effect and waves potentially overnight. 16 to 22 footers will be possible for north, west shores under advisory and east shores also under advisory as well. We'll track the surf, we'll track the winds and some scattered showers coming up a, a little bit later. We'll toss it back to Meek and Tom. Got some crazy waves out there. Thanks, Pete. And if you are heading out there, another alert for you. Box jellyfish are back. They were spotted at Hanauma Bay along uh, Waikiki and on the Magic Island side of Ala Moana Beach Park. Lifeguards treated 19 people for a total of 43 stings today at South Shore Beaches. Warning signs have been posted. Got to look out for those. Mm -hmm. Agrochemical company Monsanto has agreed to plead guilty to illegally spraying a banned pesticide on its Maui research crops. Now that agreement announced today is all part of the Department of Justice. It'll cost Monsanto $10 million, $6 million for criminal fines, and $4 million for Hawaii government agencies. The company acknowledged it continued to use the pesticide PENCAP M as its facility in Kihei, even though it was banned in 2013. In 2014, Monsanto admitted to respraying crops seven days after pesticides were used, even though no one was supposed to enter the area for a month.
And last month, two families on Maui actually filed lawsuits against Monsanto, claiming the pesticides caused birth defects. Dana Fulton and Max Coleman both had severe medical issues that they believe were caused because their moms lived just downwind of those pesticides while they were pregnant. Now today, their lawyer, Alana Waxman, said, quote, Monsanto's illegal conduct in spraying a banned pesticide at its Kihei facility in 2014 clearly illustrates its criminal disregard for the health and safety of its workers and surrounding communities on Maui and Molokai, end quote. A woman on the Big Island is the first in Hawaii to sue Johnson & Johnson over a rare form of cancer. Yeah, she claims it was caused from one of their products that she used every day. Jackie Becker and her attorney today tell me baby powder is to blame and that the company needs to be held accountable. For Jackie Becker, life has been a wild ride. From her home in Australia to her new home in Hawaii, she showed us some of her favorite horses as a show rider and trainer. Yeah, I didn't bring him. <laughs> My big black horse. <laughs> but since February, a diagnosis of malignant mesothelioma took her out of the saddle. I sort of half lost my eyesight. I, um, my kidneys shut down. My heart's running at about 20%. The serious, rare form of cancer is linked to asbestos exposure, something she believes came from something simple she used every day for decades, baby powder. Becker says she used it for deodorant as a child in the Aussie heat. It's 120 degrees in the water bag, you know, so we were sweating. And later she used it for her horses, even spraying it on her boots and saddles. The last thing you want to do is be riding around the ring with your saddle squeaking. She's suing the baby powder's manufacturer, Johnson & Johnson, for damages. Her lawyer claims tests have shown asbestos in the talc-based powder and that the company knew and never took it off the shelves. This is one of the most shocking stories of corporate malfeasance that I have seen in my career. Some similar cases in California have ended with large settlements. Meanwhile, as Jackie fights Johnson & Johnson, continuing to fight her cancer so she can get back in the saddle again. But I'm gonna get back to it. <laughs> now, Becker also named Foodland in her lawsuit because that's where she bought her baby powder. I contacted Foodland today. They had no comment. I also reached out to Johnson & Johnson but did not hear back from them. New tonight, more employees from the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation have been served federal subpoenas. According to our partners at Civil Beat, it's unclear how many subpoenas were sent nearly a month ago, but it's a request for interviews. Other employees were served back in July, and over the past year, Hart and the board received three subpoenas asking for information about the rail project. Well, a Hawaii soldier was killed in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan yesterday. 25-year-old Chief Warrant Officer Kirk T. Fuchigami Jr. from Keaau on the Big Island was flying in the helicopter providing security for troops on the ground during a night raid. His body was returned to the U.S. today in a ceremony that was attended by President Donald Trump. The Taliban claimed responsibility for shooting down the chopper, but the U.S. military claims that that's not true. The cause of that crash right now is still under investigation. 33-year-old Chief Warrant Officer David C. Nadel was also killed in that crash. Both of them were stationed in Fort Hood, Texas. And Governor David Ige offering his condolences to the family today, issuing a statement reading, quote, let us come together to support the family of this fallen soldier and honor his life now and in the coming months and years. The man shot and killed during a fight at Makaha Community Park last night was identified by family and friends today. But Honolulu police have not yet identified a suspect. With what happened on the west side, KTV 4s TJ Horgan joining us live in the newsroom. And TJ, you talked to family and friends, right? Mika, Tom, I did. HPD responded to a call of multiple gunshots just after 7 o'clock last night. Today, family and friends gathered and remembered 39-year-old Makaya McCullough, a husband, father, and a coach. We got a call last night that um, some unfortunate things happened. According to his family, Makaya McCullough was at Makaha Community Park helping his younger cousin who got into a fight. And we just, they were just very, they're very devastated of what happened. Shots were fired during the fight. McCullough was hit and killed, pronounced dead on scene by Honolulu Emergency Medical Services. When I look at the good of what he did for, the, for, for everybody, like. Makaya was a father of four. Family and friends call him a hardworking, loving dad. Lifted a lot of kids up. He loved spending time with his kids, cooking Ono barbecue 
and football. He made some close friends coaching his kids on the Kahalu'u Heia Broncos football team. Our, our, our kids grew up together. So, I mean, we, we, we've been playing football for maybe like 10 years. We've been around each other. So often, yeah, it's kind of, you know, bonds are made and, and, and you know, it's just, this is like family now. The Broncos earned a spot in the Las Vegas tournament six years ago. His fellow coaches said that trip to the Ninth Island is one of their fondest memories. So everybody was there, all the family supported, and, and we had, that's one of the best times of our lives. The Honolulu Police Department is still looking for a suspect. Should not even happen, huh? Good brother. Just hoping that guy come forward. Yeah, I mean, be just, a man, man up, you know what I mean? Just the family today also told me they had planned a cookout for this Saturday, McCullough's 40th birthday. To help them get through the grieving process, the cookout is still on. The plans to celebrate Micaiah's life the way he would have them would, would have wanted them to, excuse me, surrounded by family, friends, and good barbecue. Live in the newsroom, TJ Horgan, KITV4 Island News. TJ, thank you. Honolulu police are searching for a suspect in a hit and run crash that killed a 39 year old woman last night. According to police, she was crossing Makakilo Drive south of Palailai Street and was struck by a dark colored truck. The woman was not in a marked crosswalk. Police believe that the truck is a commercial vehicle with white lettering and utility compartments on the side. Anyone with any information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 955-8300. A 55-year-old man was found unresponsive around 2.30 yesterday afternoon next to a damaged moped along the bike path on Ala'iki Street in Waipahu. That's near Leeward Community College. He had head injuries and was transported to a hospital in critical condition. And turning now to the Big Island, multiple people were arrested in a meth bust. It all happened in South Kohala on November 8th. Officers recovered 10 grams of crystal meth and a 22 caliber rifle. The four people there you see were arrested on drug charges. 35-year-old Casey Huey Assam faces additional charges for gun violations and contempt of court. On Maui, an Opihi picker swept out to sea in Maliko Bay yesterday afternoon was found around 7 o'clock this morning. A friend reported him missing around 1 this morning. Crews searched for him for about an hour and then returned at first light, finding him uninjured along the shoreline. Well, the holiday season for some is a joy, but for others, it's also a time of sorrow. Yeah, coming up on KTV4 Island News, our adoptive family series this week is about an Ohana coping with the loss of a loved one and is in need of your help. And it's game night for the nationally ranked UH women's volleyball team. Brandy Higa joining us live from the newsroom. And emotions running high this week for the Rainbow Wahine, right? That's right, Tom. Expect a little extra mana in Manoa. Outgoing seniors with dozens of family in the stands starting tonight. But a win is crucial in terms of clinching a conference title. We'll have a game preview coming up during KITV4 Island Sports. And also coming up on KITV4 Island News, a former U.S. attorney and judge enters the race to be the next Honolulu City prosecutor. We'll be right back. Friday. Want to take this year's gift giving to the next level? Let's do it. Well, these deals and steals are all about the finer things. Love for less. And you won't want to miss it. Plus, we're cooking up an epic GMA Friendsgiving you got to see. Friday on GMA. Hawaii's Remarkable Women is brought to you by the Hawaiian Airlines Bank of Hawaii World Elite MasterCard. When I think about what really matters to me, it's the places I go, the people I love, the experiences that make me, me. That's what life's about, right? And whenever I use my card, I'm getting closer to those moments every day. Get the card that gets you closer and take advantage of this limited time offer. Visit HawaiianAirlines.com. Shop now. Inspiration's home for the holiday sale. Select floor models and closeouts up to 50% off. 24 months interest-free financing. Doorbuster deals, new models on display. Shop Inspiration now through Black Friday weekend. This is a fight. Not to the finish, but to the beginning. A fight that can only be won if we stand together for one cause. Him. Expert care for every new beginning. 
Viaggio Restaurant is located on the corner of Capilani and Ward across from the Blaisdell Center. Welcome to Viaggio. Open Tuesday through Sunday with happy hour from 4 to 6 and dinner from 5 p.m. Join Chef Rodney Uihara for his Italian-inspired cuisine with a special Hawaiian flair. Viaggio uses only the freshest local seafood, farm-to-table vegetables, pasta, steaks, and so much more. Make your next special night at Viaggio Restaurant. Call 592-8881 for reservations. Grazie mille. Beat the rush. Hawaii's best value on quality home furnishings. Up to 50% off select floor models and closeouts with interest-free financing. Shop home for the holiday sale, Inspiration, Honolulu, Kapolei, Pro Ridge Center. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. KITV4 is a proud partner with Helping Hands Hawaii, and we're spreading the spirit of giving this holiday season. And to help, you can actually adopt a family. Yeah, KITV4's Annalisa Burgos brings us to the story of a couple that's still recovering emotionally and financially from the tragic death of their son. <laughs> the Kalaikai children are huge fans of Disney, and each have a collection of character pins to prove it. My favorite is the stitches too. Ah, oh, you, you guys really like the stitch, huh? For this Wahiwa family, matriarch Yvonne is the pin that keeps them together in good times and bad. Well, this holiday season, my husband got laid off once again. So it's been really rough playing catch up with everything, bill-wise, um, mentally. When Yvonne's husband left a secure state job to work in construction, the couple didn't realize how unstable the industry was. Hard times became harder. I had a tough journey because we had a son that had cancer back in 2005. So we've been on a struggle since then, but he passed in 2010. We, we were kind of hoping that, you know, after that, everything maybe might have fallen into place and things would have gotten better, but it hasn't. Eight-year-old J-Boy passed away after a six-year battle with leukemia. It was, it was rough, though. It was really rough on all of us, especially the Kayla. We still make it work. We still make it work. My husband's going to school to try and further himself so he can try and get a better job. The children are working toward their dreams, too. Kayla is interested in interior design. Janaya wants to be a fashion designer. An artist. And Ezekiel, an artist. Dad. Oh, this is Dad. And who's this? Is this you, Kayla? Kayla? Yeah. <laughs> they say they are helping their parents as much as they can. They do an amazing job as being our parents. And they like... And Yvonne's wish list also includes cooking equipment and home decor. Her husband would appreciate tools, family activities, and surf gear. The keiki like Disney and Stitch toys, art supplies, and clothes. And if you're interested in adopting this family, you can send an email to adopt a family. That's AAF at helpinghandshawaii.org. And you can be sure to note the code LTWIN7. Yeah, a lot of great families out there and mm -hmm. uh, just making things good for them for the holidays. Very deserving. Let's, yeah, absolutely. All right, well, uh, Janet Jackson recognizing the tension over TMT on Mauna Kea. That's right. Coming up on KITV4 Island News, we'll tell you how she did it right in the middle of her concert at Blaisdell last night. And some cloudy skies and some huge waves today. And windy weather on the way soon, Pete. Yeah, we got wind advisories in effect. Big surf as well. Three out of four shores under high surf advisory. We're going to take you to the to the North Shore coming up in just a minute. First off, though, we'll take you out to the windward side. This is our windward mall cam. Kaneohe looking cloudy at times. We've seen some passing rain showers. We'll talk about if any more is heading your way. Your forecast after the break. Ashley Home Store Hawaii, affordable everyday style and comfort, ideal for the whole family to love. Ashley Home Store Hawaii's Black Friday sale is going on now. Hurry in today and shop Black Friday deals throughout the store. For a limited time, buy one, get one at 25% off. Or choose 12 months financing to furnish your entire home. The Black Friday sale is going on now for a limited time. Only at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store Hawaii. This is home. In 1859, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma were inspired to build a hospital for the sick. 
Today, Queens has expanded to meet the growing needs of Hawaii, offering comprehensive heart care, advanced neurological services, a world-renowned cancer center, and Hawaii's only level one trauma center. Caring for our community, the royal legacy continues. The Queens Medical Center, celebrating 160 years. There's a special moment when everything falls into place just so. That's the feeling you experience with each piece of Hawaiian Host original chocolate-covered macadamias. This holiday season, share that perfect moment with your loved ones and Hawaiian Host. He was a single father, so it's just me and my sister, so we grew up pretty tight with just the three of us. Natasha's world got turned upside down when her sister called about their father's accident. The whole truck was burning. They don't know if he's gonna live. Three months in the hospital, a month in rehab, and just for him to do things on his own took two years. Tasha knew she needed help and called Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner. They removed all of that worry. So anytime um, insurance would call me, bills were being sent to us, they told us to just send it to them. John Yamani, he was an anchor during the most hardest time in our family. Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner can help you too. LYSLaw.com. My dad still tries to be active and he still tries to swim. And he brings his cane all the way to the ocean to go into the water. And my dad's my rock. Hawaii's Remarkable Women is sponsored by Levitt, Yamane, and Soldner. Well, not a whole lot of sunshine today and winds are picking up. We'll see even breezier conditions tomorrow, so get ready for some strong gusty winds. Live shot outside, a lot of cloud cover out there, 80 degrees current temperature. East northeast winds at 13, but stronger winds are on the way. And that's all from this big high pressure ridge to the north. As it builds in, it's really starting to bring some stronger gusty winds. We'll see winds out of the east tomorrow, easily over 20 miles per hour. And some spots could be much windier than that. So take a look at the computer model. We're looking at winds over 25 in many locations out of the east. And there is potential. Some locations could see gust up to 40, maybe up to 50 miles per hour. That is going to be on the west side of mountain ranges. So on the leeward side of mountain ranges, that's where we have the air come up on the windward side, then it comes back down and accelerates as it downslopes. So that's where we can see some very gusty winds. Areas that tend to see some of the stronger winds here on Oahu, Manoa Valley, likely to see winds well over 40. And again, some spots possibly wind advisory in effect from 6 a.m. tomorrow till 6 p.m could see gusts potentially up to 50. So some very gusty winds expected. Not a whole lot of rain out there, though, relatively dry. We've had some passing showers today, kind of on and off, but right now it's looking a little bit drier, a few light to moderate showers offshore of Maui County and the Big Island, and then some heavier rain, even some thunderstorms west of Kauai. That should stay to the west. Big day out on the north and west shores today, and we're watching our surf come down a bit, but still looking at 10 to 15 footers for the north shore, 6 to 10 for west. East shores on the way up, and that is because of those winds and south shores, probably the tamest, but unfortunately today we did have a kind of influx of box jellyfish, and that will be possible. They will likely linger tomorrow, mainly on the south shore. Island Mountain forecast, gusty winds tomorrow, passing showers, cloudy conditions for the Big Island in Maui County, wind advisory in effect. Some spots could see winds 40, maybe up to 50 miles per hour. That's again, down slope of the mountains. So on the leeward side of mountain ranges is where we see the strongest winds. Clouds linger and some scattered passing showers here in Oahu and also Kauai expecting those scattered passing rain showers. Tonight, temperatures in the middle 70s. Because of the winds, we don't get quite as cool at night. Tomorrow, still some lingering clouds, high of 85 degrees. Gusty winds stick around not only for tomorrow, but into Saturday. And then as we head into our Sunday, we see those winds ease just a bit into next week. Lighter winds expected and into the holiday, potentially Wednesday into Thanksgiving. Chance of some rain showers as the front approaches us. So we'll have a little bit of change in conditions for the holiday. But for now, 
Big surf and certainly windy weather. Yeah, Saturday, yeah, 20 definitely. to 30 miles per hour. Wow. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be gusty. And just looking at pipelines today, that was crazy. Yeah, they're huge waves, especially this morning. That's going to come down a bit, but still pretty big tomorrow. All right, thanks, P. Well, no uh, switching gears now, sports time with Brandy Higa. And this year's high school football state tournament resumes this week. That's right, we'll have a peek at the Division I games on tap. Plus, it's game night for the 18th ring and conference leading UH women's volleyball team. And for the third straight week, Rainbow Warrior basketball team is without its head coach. KITV4 Island Sports is next. Tonight. Meredith's back in a Grey's Fall finale that's jam-packed with shockers. <laughs> till the very last second. Grey's Anatomy Fall Finale, tonight on ABC. Lumber World, your destination for the best selection in brand name beds to help you get the good night's sleep you deserve. Black Friday blowout deals are going on now. Shop these hot deals exclusively at Slumber World. A bed in a box memory foam mattress starting at a low $197. $50 off all other bed in a box brands. Plus, savings up to $800 on your favorite mattress. Or choose up to 24 months financing to get the bed of your dreams. Don't miss the Black Friday blowout deals at Slumber World, your locally owned mattress store serving all of Hawaii. Stop by your neighborhood 7-Eleven Hawaii store this holiday season for one of our delicious party platters. Deluxe Sushi, Game Time Spam Musubi, Chicken Adobo Pancit, Sesame Chicken Salad, Sandwich Platter, and Assorted Mochi. Visit or call your neighborhood 7-Eleven Hawaii store to place your order today. Everyone has a family, but no two families are quite alike. At HMSA, we understand that and why you want health care coverage that works for you. So we make sure you can see the doctors and specialists you choose convenient to home, work, and school. That you have urgent care when you need it and coverage when you travel. HMSA will be there for your family, for your health and well-being, for life. To learn more, visit HMSA.com. I've been a veterinarian now for 20 years and an opportunity arose. I've never owned a business before in my life. It was very scary for me. As I looked at the various financial institutions, one of them really stood out. Derek's real easy to work with. It's nice to have good advice from people that you trust. Hawaii State Federal Credit Union was there for me. They really cared about my business. I think that's what makes the difference. Oh, <laughs> how's it, how's it going? How are you, how are you? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you friend. Unwrap the joy of a new CRV, the best selling CUV over the past decade. That's all right. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Hawaii Honda Dealers. In prep football, this year's state tournament resumes tomorrow. Good evening, I'm Brandi Higa. Open division kicks off tomorrow night. Then on Saturday, a pair of Division I games rematch between Iolani and Moanalua. Then Lelehua Hilo on the Big Island. KITV Force Cody Krupp joins us live from the newsroom tonight with more. Hey, Cody. Yeah, thank you, Brandi. Let's start with the top seed of Hilo Vikings and how dominant they have been this season. A perfect 12-0 record, outscoring opponents a ridiculous 665-62. to So an experienced group hungry for a championship after following up short last year's title game. You learn a lot when you lose. It forces you to dig into the tape, figure out the details of what went wrong. From a player's perspective, it gives you motivation going into the offseason to um, realize that, hey, you know, we came up short of our goal. Meeting those Vikings on the Big Island for the semifinal is Lele Hua, fresh off a victory on Maui over Baldwin in the quarterfinal as they continue to try to be the road warriors on the way to the title game. You're forced to look at each other more. Uh, and so that's what we've learned in this throughout this season is our, our kids tend to play a lot better when they're away just because there's less distractions. The OIA Division I champion, Moana Lua, who has not played since October 26. A Moana Lua miracle! <laughs> but that is time off that they use to their advantage, especially with getting quarterback R.J. Javar healthy, who was knocked out of that last game. With his head, you know, trying to get it all cleared, you know, trying to get him through concussion protocol still. Um, 
it's definitely beneficial because, you know, time right now is your best friend. These two teams met back on August 10th with Moana Lua kicking through a game-winning field goal for the win. It was a good early test for Iolani that can play into their advantage the second time around. Throw it, it's intercepted! It's always nice to uh, see them one time, you know, instead of going in kind of blind. We play these other teams, physically the size is, is the difference, and it takes us a while to get uh, used to, to it and adjusted to it. Iolani, they have won eight Division II titles in their program history, but have not won one since joining Division I back in 2016. Well, we went from Moanalua, and they're going to play in their program's first ever state title game. So Saturday, Iolani at Moanalua, 7 p.m., and on the Big Island, also 7 p.m., Hilo and Lelehua. We'll have all the coverage Saturday here on KHB4 Island News as I send it back to you. Cody, thanks. And for the third straight week, the UH men's basketball team is without head coach Iran Ganat, still on medical leave. Acting head man Chris Gerlifson will continue to lead the three and two Bows, who are back at home this week hosting New Orleans on Sunday. It's an athletic, fast-paced team. They're going to pressure you on defense and feel like we're playing the same style of team over and over again. So I think we have some good teams that we played that will prepare us for what we're going to see on, on Sunday, but it's a good veteran group. We're going to have to play well. Stansberry might be feeling it now. He hits a triple. I actually I saw him yes, yesterday, got to spend some good time with him yesterday, and um, all I can say is he's day-to-day, -day and we're continuing to support him him and, and show him the love and respect that he deserves through this tough time. But I don't have an update in terms of what his timetable is. It's, it's day to day. And tip off Sunday in Manoa against New Orleans is set for 5 p.m. And just 30 minutes till first serve at the Stan Sheriff Center for the 18th ranked UH Women's Volleyball team wins tonight and tomorrow night are key when it comes to RPI and position atop the Big West standings. But Hawaii will have to do so with emotions running high. It's senior week for five Rainbow Wahine. It's definitely a dream come true and just like an honor to be able to play for this university and kind of just to fall in the footsteps of my family. It's everything I dreamt it would be. We'll see you Van Sickle to Ross. Does it again. Just like every day coming into the gym and seeing the girls and just everyone looking at us like, oh, like I don't want you guys to leave type of vibe. It really just, I don't know, it kind of hits us way harder just because it's finally here. Rainbow Wahine versus Seed Sun tonight at the Stan Sheriff Center set for seven off highlights from KITV for Island Sports at 10. Like you said, a lot of emotions, our entire high school and college careers coming to a wrap. Yeah. Oh. Well, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. Roads on Maui are back open as fire crews battle a 100-acre fire. Yeah, if you're just joining us, here's our top four stories on KITV4 Island News at 6 tonight. So far, at least a dozen homes in the Kahikinui subdivision have been evacuated and shelters are being set up right now. Pi'ilani Highway was closed earlier, but it has since reopened, as we just mentioned. That fire was first reported around 2 this afternoon, right near the highway. It's being fueled by those strong winds. The remains of a Big Island soldier were received by President Donald Trump today at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware. 25-year-old Chief Warrant Officer Kirk T. Fuchigami, Jr. of Keaau on the Big Island, was killed in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan. The cause of that crash right now is still under investigation. Monsanto has agreed to plead guilty to illegally spraying a banned pesticide on its Maui research crops. <coughs> the company will pay up to $6 million in criminal fines and $4 million in fines that will go to Hawaii government agencies. The company acknowledged it continued to use the pesticide PENCAP-M at its facility in Kihei, even though it was banned in 2013. And Honolulu police are searching for the person who shot and killed 39-year-old Makaya McCullough at Makaha Beach Park last night. Family today said he was trying to help a relative involved in a fight. McCullough was described as hardworking and a loving father of four. New Tonight at 6, former U.S. Attorney and Judge Stephen Alm today announced he's running for Honolulu prosecutor. Alm helped create Hawaii's Opportunity Probation with Enforcement 2004, commonly known as Hope Probation. It's a parenting approach to probation and jail sentences. Alm says he has the experience claiming he helped reduce crime in Chinatown and Kalihi Palama by about 70% during his time as U.S. Attorney. I will work to restore trust in that office, end the corruption, 
and create a culture of integrity. Train the deputy prosecutors to be ethical and effective trial attorneys. Now, Alma already has the backing of SHOPO, that's the State of, Hawaiian or, uh, State of Hawaii Organization of Police Officers. He says his top priority is putting violent, dangerous offenders in prison. He also says he wants to work with different communities on neighborhood crime. Alma supports a full audit of the prosecutor's office and believes the pr position should remain an elected seat and should not be appointed by the mayor. And two other people have already announced their candidacy for Honolulu prosecutor, defense attorney Megan Cow and a public defender, Jacqueline Esser. This is new tonight. Interim Office of Hawaiian Affairs Chief Executive Officer Sylvia Hussey was named permanent CEO today. She starts her new job leading 145 employees on December 1st with a starting salary of $170,000. Among her first duties is developing a new strategic plan for the next 15 years, especially after recent issues over finances and governing policies. The Kohala native is a certified public accountant and serves as a com commissioner of the State Public Charter School Commission. Well, new tonight, any employee of the State Department of Education will soon be able to learn Olelo Hawaii for free. Beginning next year, employees will be able to take introductory Hawaiian language classes, either through classes at community college or some custom courses for groups of employees. It's all part of a partnership between the University of Hawaii Community Colleges and the Office of Hawaiian Education. Now, this move comes at a time when Hawaii is facing a shortage of teachers who are fluent in the Hawaiian language. New tonight, more than 300 traffic citations were issued along Daniel Keinoi Highway near the Mauna Kea Access Road. That's near the demonstrations against the 30-meter telescope. Most citations were handed out for speeding or regulatory violations. Four people were also arrested, either for driving under the influence or on an outstanding warrant. Since August, nearly 7,000 citations have been issued. Grammy Award winner Janet Jackson showed her support for 30-meter telescope opponents during her first of three Hawaii concerts last night. She and her backup dancers showed a hand gesture popular among those who call themselves kia'i or protectors of Mauna Kea. She also flashed photos of scenes from the mountain on a big screen. Blue tonight, some good news on the north shore of Oahu. A nearly threatened species of seabird is now back. The Laysan albatross was spotted at Kahuku Point this week. The North Shore Community Land Trust produced some successful nests this year to try and restore the bird's habitat. Now, those birds have a huge six-foot wingspan, and they usually only come to the uh, land to breed. The species has been threatened recently by rising sea levels. And another endangered species spotted again, this one on the Big Island. The Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources staff spotted an endangered Hawaiian petrel, or Ua'u Baro, and a baby chick in a natural reserve in the Kohala Mountain on the Big Island. Now, this discovery is the first proof of a new colony of the birds on the Kahala District. They didn't actually make the discovery until recently. can only access it. Mayor Kirk Caldwell put pen to paper today. Yeah, coming up on KITV4 Island News, longer hours for lifeguards is now the law in Honolulu. We'll tell you, we'll tell you when it all starts. Homeworld, from living room to bedrooms to dining, you'll find a world of possibilities to furnish your home in style. Black Friday is happening now at Homeworld Furniture. Shop now and save up to $500 store-wide. Sofas, recliners, bedrooms, dining, and more. Or choose 24 months financing to get everything you want for your home. Plus, shop these amazing deals on Black Friday only. This reclining sofa with table for just $695. Or how about a chair that converts to a bed for just $245? The Black Friday sale is going on now at Homeworld Furniture. Don't miss it. You know when you're at Ross and your new fall look just keeps getting better? Check this out. That's Yes for Less. Score a head-to-toe look you'll love and save 20 to 60% off department store prices. At Ross, yes for less. When you feel like Vegas, there's just one place to stay. Grab a drink at the Holo Holo Bar, there's just one place to play. We got a fresh hot look, a new sports book. We got those local meals, just like Auntie Cook's. Aloha, spoken here. Book 
now at thecal.com. They count on you. If you serve or have served in any branch of the U.S. military, you can count on Navy Mutual for affordable life insurance. We went with the best price, and that was with Navy Mutual. Right now, a 35-year-old man can get $500,000 of life insurance for as little as $17 a month. If you are a veteran, active duty military, or a family member of someone who serves, find out how much you can save on life insurance. Navy Mutual provided the best rates, the best customer service. Navy Mutual offers some of the lowest life insurance rates available anywhere, with no hidden fees and no sales commissions. You don't have these guys working on commissions. I think you'll find their rates are some of the lowest in the industry. They count on you. Count on Navy Mutual to help protect their future. Call now for your free life insurance quote. 1-866-339-6903. That's 1-866-339-6903. You know when you're at Ross and you find a deal on cookware that makes you say, Yes. Oh, yeah. Bring on the holidays. That's Yes for Less. Everything you need to prep, cook, and serve up the season. It feels even better when you find it for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. Starting in July 2021, the lifeguards at city and county of Honolulu beaches will be on the job for longer. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell today signed Bill 39 into law. What that does is it allows lifeguard shifts to span from sun up to sundown. First responders say that will help them save lives. Ocean safety's jurisdiction spans 200 miles of Oahu coastline and up to one mile offshore. And Satellite City Halls on Oahu are now accepting debit and credit cards. A standard 2.35 service charge will also apply. Uh, they'll also be accepted at the city's new self-service kiosk that offer registration renewals for a full list of City Hall locations and hours. Check out our website, KITV.com. Anything to make life easier. Mm -hmm. On the Big Island, Hawaii County passed a bill banning the use of certain weed killers, including Roundup. Yeah, according to the Hawaii uh, Tribune, that was passed 6-3. to three. Mayor Harry Kim says he supports that bill. And Hawaii U.S. Senator Brian Schatz spoke with environmental activists today looking for justice for low-income neighborhoods. During the Senate's Special Committee on Climate Crisis, they said those were unfairly subjugated to increased pollution. A study from 2018 shows about 56% of poverty-ridden communities were living in areas with toxic release. As climate change intensifies, these communities face more powerful storms and floods, more intense heat waves, more deadly wildfires, more extreme droughts, and suffer other devastating effects of the climate crisis on top of the highest levels of toxic pollution found nationwide. And for more information on the push for environmental justice, you can head on over to our website, KITV.com. Closing arguments today from the House Intelligence Committee during the ongoing impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. As ABC's Rachel Scott shows us, it could be the final hearing before that probe is handed over to the House Judiciary Committee. Adjourned. A marathon of impeachment hearings capped off on Thursday with a message from Fiona Hill. I refuse to be part of an effort to legitimize an alternate narrative that the Ukrainian government is a U.S. adversary and that Ukraine, not Russia, attacked us in 2016. That statement from Hill, a Russia expert, served as a direct contrast to what the top Republican on the Intelligence Committee said just one day earlier. The thing that the Democrats have been unwilling to accept is that their operatives got campaign dirt from Ukrainians in the, in the 2016 election. Hill, a former senior White House official, also painted Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal lawyer, as a central figure in an alleged pressure campaign against Ukraine, pressure the president has denied. Is it your understanding then that President Trump disregarded the advice of his senior officials about this theory and instead listened to Rudy Giuliani's views? That appears to be the case, yes. And the other witness in Thursday's hearing, diplomat David Holmes, told lawmakers about a call that ambassador to the EU, Gordon Sondland, took while at a restaurant in Kiev. On the other end of the line, President Trump. It was quite loud uh, when the president came on, quite distinctive. Holmes describing what he said he overheard. Ambassador Sondland replied, yes, he was in Ukraine, and went on to state that President Zelensky, quote, loves your ass. I then heard President Trump ask, so he's going to do the investigation. Ambassador Sondland replied that he's going to do it, adding that President Zelensky will do anything you ask him to do. 
And as that hearing played out here on Capitol Hill, President Trump had lunch with several Senate Republicans, including two that have been critical of him, Mitt Romney and Susan Collins. Those two senators could become key votes in a Senate trial if the House decides to impeach the president. Rachel Scott, ABC News, Capitol Hill. The Trump administration is sending out letters to dozens of homes in Texas and other border states asking permission to survey their land for potential future border barriers. If a homeowner doesn't sign the letter, the Department of Justice could order access to the properties. The move comes as the administration tries to ramp up construction in border areas that are now privately owned. The government can take over private land for public use for imminent domain and attempts to pay a fair price for it. Well, Hawaii U.S. Senator Maisie Hirono announced the new Refugee Protection Act today to strengthen U.S. policy on refugees. Now, this is similar to legislation that passed six years ago, and it counters the Trump administration's proposal to limit or ban refugees who are seeking asylum here in the U.S. And Hirono remains the only immigrant currently serving in the United States Senate. Well, she's been a driving force in helping expand Native Hawaiian arts, providing affordable housing for artists, even overcoming cancer. That's right. Coming up, we'll introduce you to our choice this month as one of Hawaii's remarkable women. We'll be right back. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. <gasps> oh. Wow, our team's lucky to have Amy. I'm so glad we're all chipping in to buy her that massage. Oh. Here's my 20. Mine too. Here's mine. Uh oh. Dad, just use your phone. Right. Introducing Zelle, another way Bank of Hawaii is making life simple by making it safe and easy to send. Got it. And receive money. Oh. Bank of Hawaii, welcome to tomorrow. Shop now. Inspiration's home for the holiday sale. Select floor models and closeouts up to 50% off. 24 months interest-free financing. Doorbuster deals, new models on display. Shop Inspiration now through Black Friday weekend. Why do I love being a doctor at Kaiser Permanente? I get to practice in the place I grew up. Because doctors are empowered to do what's right for you, not when an insurance plan approves. When we pull up your records, we see your entire history from every Kaiser Permanente facility so we can give you the best possible care. Your primary care doctor, your specialists, it's great. We all work together as one team. I don't just work here, I am a patient too. I wouldn't trust my family's health care to anyone else. Unwrap the joy of a new HRV, complete with second row magic seat. That's all right. Beat the rush. Hawaii's best value on quality home furnishings. Up to 50% off select floor models and closeouts with interest-free financing. Shop home for the holiday sale, Inspiration. Honolulu, Kapolei, Pro Ridge Center. Tonight. Welcome back. Meredith's back in a Grey's Fall finale that's jam-packed with shockers till the very last second. Grey's Anatomy Fall Finale, tonight on ABC. What you're doing is ripping us apart. Tonight, one life-shattering revelation. You are not my dad. After another. There's something we need to talk about as a family. A Million Little Things Fall Finale, tonight after Grey's Anatomy on ABC. You're watching KITV4 Island News. Welcome back. She's a well-respected leader and has helped advance Native Hawaiian art. Yeah, Vicki Holt Takamine is also passionate about getting people to participate in shaping the future of their community by making their voices heard at the ballot box. KITV4's Paul Drew shares with us this month's Remarkable Women. The latest condo building in town is also a new concept for Hawaii. Art space provides affordable housing for island artists. I was really excited about the idea of having artists all live together in an affordable housing project because we could collaborate with each other. For Vicki Holt Takamine, a driving force behind the decade-long effort to make this building a reality, 
Art is not just a picture you hang on the wall. Art is what makes a community a community. Along with providing artists a place to live, including enough room to work on their craft, she wants this center to help craft an arts corridor throughout Kaka'ako. I'm hoping that the artists in this building will partner with us on creating events and activities. Our artists could serve the community. Art space isn't the only project Auntie Vicky's been working on. She's also an organizer of the Pacific Festival of Arts, and more than a dozen years ago, helped take art to the fashion runway. And then I saw the needs of our community. And I think that for me, um, I can't just sit back and watch. So there was a time when our Hawaiian artists were, were not being adequately supported. So I created Mamo. Uh, Maui Arts Movement to showcase the diversity of Native Hawaiian art. The wearable art show has helped boost Hawaii designers' fashions into the spotlight and has been a launching pad for several successful brands and businesses. But Auntie Vicky's background originally had her taking to the stage for a different kind of art. I started hula with my Kiyu Lake at the age of 12. My sister was 10. I uniki in 1975 as a kumuhula. I opened my own halau in 1977. So over 40 years of hula. I've been now this kumuhula wants to carry on the legacy of the kapuna who came before her. I think my whole life's work has been how do I give back to this land that has been nursed to me. We have to give them our voice. We have to do what we can to help them. Um, that has nourished me over all these years. Along with being an artist as a kumuhula, She's become an activist to reclaim cultural practices. Auntie Vicky's been outspoken over Native Hawaiian issues, telling people not to complain about problems, but instead take action. We've been raising the next generation of Native Hawaiians to be activists. Is to be aware, to be cognizant of the things that are going on around and to do something about it. As head of a Pacific-wide arts festival, leader of a Native Hawaiian art foundation, along with being a kumuhula, it seemed like nothing could slow down Vicky Holt Takamine. But two years ago, everything came to a sudden stop. It's a hard thing to hear you have cancer. Her husband died in 2016 and her father a year later. So when it came to the breast cancer in her body, like she has with so many other aspects of her life, Auntie Vicky took action, getting a double mastectomy, which allowed her to get back to work helping others, but also reminded her to take time for herself and her family. We have to learn to take care of ourselves first. As women, we don't do that. For her tireless efforts to expand Native Hawaiian arts and artists, Vicky Holt Takamine is this month's remarkable woman. An honor, she says, she could not have done without the many remarkable women she's had in her life. I've built my reputation on the legacy of those women, my mother, my grandmother, um, Auntie Mikey, Bernice Pawahi Bishop, I graduated from Kamehameha School. So it's all of these women that have helped to nurture me and I think about all of them and I owe them all um, credit for who I am today. Paul Drews, KITV. Well, pretty amazing to see her overcoming yeah. cancer, still helping out the arts and culture in so many different Absolutely. ways. Absolutely. Art, hula, politics, over beating cancer, she's, she's done it all. Like a tr truly remarkable woman, for so sure. So accomplished. Well, coming up on KITV4 Island News at 10 o'clock, Hawaii County officials tried to get a Hilo building removed for months. And today, it was finally torn down while a group of people were living in that structure, but the owners were nowhere to be found. Plus, a message from the family of a Wailuku woman killed in a crash involving an alleged junk driver. How they're teaming up with Maui police to keep the Valley Isles roads safe this holiday season. And when we come back, a last check of sports and weather. You're watching KITV4 Island News. We'll be right back. Aloha and welcome aboard. With Hawaiian Airlines, you feel at home on every flight. We treat you like family. So of course, we serve you a complimentary meal. We seat you together and make sure you're comfortable. The spirit of Hawaii is in everything we do. Hawaii flies with us. We are proud to celebrate 90 years of serving the islands.
Tis the season to mix things up in a Cadillac. Give your comfy couch a break. Take the fireplace with you. Leave the holiday party in the past. And have a not-so-silent night with three rows of friends. So go ahead. Get 0% APR for 72 months plus $1,000 purchase allowance on a 2019 Cadillac XT4 and XT5 when you finance through GM Financial. In 1859, King Kamehameha IV and Queen Emma were inspired to build a hospital for the sick. Today, Queens has expanded to meet the growing needs of Hawaii, offering comprehensive heart care, advanced neurological services, a world-renowned cancer center, and Hawaii's only level one trauma center. Caring for our community, the royal legacy continues. The Queens Medical Center, celebrating 160 years. There's a special moment when everything falls into place just so. That's the feeling you experience with each piece of Hawaiian Host original chocolate-covered macadamias. This holiday season, share that perfect moment with your loved ones and Hawaiian Host. When you have the protection of Hawaii's nationally recognized insurer, you have peace of mind. I got you guys. Whether it's auto, home, condo, renters, or business insurance. Island Insurance, we got you covered. You okay? Call 643-4000 or visit islandinsurance.com. I was going off today at Pipeline. This is from earlier today. Large waves, high surf warning was actually in place for much of the day, was replaced with an advisory. Surfers out, waves coming in, and we will see our waves drop a bit for tomorrow, but still looking pretty large. We're expecting 10 to 15 footers for the North Shore for tomorrow. Still a high surf advisory there, 6 to 10 for West. We added the East Shores to high surf advisory, so every shore except South Shores under advisory, 6 to 8. That is a wind swell. South Shore looks good but heads up we had box jellyfish there today that's a possible again tomorrow likely will linger we'll take you out to Kauai this is from Waimea beautiful shot look at that rainbow just offshore and we'll take you from Kauai all the way out to the ninth island if you're heading to Vegas this weekend last weekend might have been the weekend to go a lot of folks were there obviously for the game this weekend a little cooler 59 degrees expected on Friday will warm to the lower 60s as we head into the weekend. Back here across Oahu, relatively dry and, well, looking pretty dry for most spots. Honoka seeing some rainfall on the Big Island, but not a huge amount of showers. Winds have been breezy. They will continue to be breezy tomorrow. In fact, increasing winds, a wind advisor at 20 to 30 mile per hour winds could see some gust up to 50. That's mainly downslope of terrain into tomorrow. 85 will keep the clouds around with the breezy conditions continuing as we move into Saturday and Sunday. Into Monday, winds start to ease. And then for the holiday weekend, we are anticipating lighter winds and potentially some scattered showers as a new front moves in. We'll keep an eye on that next system as it develops. But right now, windy weather is kind of what we're talking about. Brandy. Thanks, Pete. In surf, contest was called on in Hale Eva today. This is Kamehameha Grad Ezekiel Lau getting barreled at Ali'i Beach. Quarterfinals now set in this year's Hawaiian Pro. First jewel of surfing's triple crown. Always bear Mamiya put together this 9.6 in round three today. Remember, a 10-point ride is the highest score you can get. He's the only local boy to advance to the quarters. Always Billy Kemper got the 7.5 ride in his round three heat. Surf Committee contest resumes tomorrow. Making it look easy. Yeah, it's <laughs> pumping up there. Yeah. Looking good. Thanks, Brandy. Well, check this out. The first Marvel Comics comic book just sold, sold that is at an auction in Texas for $1.6 million. Yeah, you know, just $1.6 million, <laughs> right? The 1939 edition copy is near mint condition. It shows the first appearances of characters like the Human Torch, Kazar, Angel, and the Submariner. Its first owner, a mail carrier in Pennsylvania, who used to buy the first issue of the comic books and magazines. Since then, it's only changed owners a handful of times. Now they're uh, getting a lot of money for that. Yeah. 
Well, if you've been binge watching Disney Plus, Brandy, you may recognize this little guy from the new series, The Mandalorian. He's been dubbed Baby Yoda, and he's melting the hearts of many on social media. Toy maker Hasbro also announced today that it's releasing a new line of Baby Yoda toys and merchandise for the holidays. He sure oh, is cute. Yeah. That's the noise I make every time he pops up on screen. Oh. <laughs> He's adorable. I know we've seen the super old Yoda and, and now, the baby, baby now the baby Yoda. Yoda. We got the full <laughs> spectrum. Baby now. Yoda is actually 50 years old if you watch yeah. the series. Not it really not. a baby. Huh. Still a baby. No, it is. Yeah. That means he'll age for forever. He'll, you know, yeah. he'll yeah. last forever. We'll say like 900 something years old. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for being a part of Hawaii's only hour long 6 p.m. newscast. You can stay connected by liking us on Facebook and by following us on Twitter. You can also find KITV4 Island News on Roku or download our app. We'll see you tonight at 10. Take care. See you then. Oh! <laughs>Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. I did some early shopping this year. One for you, one for me. I love it. I got us a little something, too. Yeah? Yep. One for you. And one for me. I love it. Oh, actually, that was supposed to be for me. I love it. I like red. Current eligible non-GM owners, switch to GMC and get 16% below MSRP on most 2019 Acadia models. That's over 8,300 on this Acadia Denali. We are professional grade. GMC. Introducing the Impossible Whopper with a patty made from plants. No beef. No beef. I've never had plant taste like beef before. Tastes like a Whopper. Tastes like a Whopper. Tastes like a beef burger. Lies. Introducing the Impossible Whopper. Available nationwide only at Burger King. Hawaii's leading dental benefits provider wants parents to remember one important thing. Take your child to the dentist before their first birthday. That's because the American Dental Association recommends children visit a dentist before age one. All of Hawaii's keiki deserve a healthy smile. For more information, visit hawaiidentalservice.com slash dentist by one. Unwrap the joy of a new pilot from the 2019 KBB.com Best Overall Brand. That's all right. You didn't ask for it, but boy, are you gonna want it. Say cheese. The new stuffed cheese at Pizza, available only at Pizza Hut. Now part of the 5 and Up lineup.